In this video we're going to talk about what's new in Adobe Captivate 9. That's right, I said Captivate 9. Specifically we're going to talk about SVG support, additional breakpoints for responsive design, and text and hyperlinks and how they change across different breakpoints. So let's get started here. Right off the bat let's talk about SVG. SVG is a new audio, or sorry, a uh, new uh, picture format or image format that's available to you from the media drop-down icon and let's import an SVG and see what that looks like. SVGs are short for scalable vector graphics. These uh, particular images can be edited in Adobe Illustrator and of course there's support for round tripping so if I go into properties here you can see that there's actually a button for edit SVG and of course then you could select what application you have installed to do that editing. Also, the, again, as I mentioned, support for Adobe Illustrator. I don't have Illustrator on this machine, so it's grayed out right now. But uh, what's great about this is that you can resize the image. So here's a, a 100 pixel by 100 pixel image, and if I resize this, I'm just going to hold down my shift key to maintain the dimensions here. If I want to fill my screen with this image, normally it would be quite pixelated at this point if it was a JPEG or even a PNG file. But as you can see, there's no loss in quality. It's a great format to use if it's readily available to you. So that's pretty much it for SVG. Not a lot to say there. It's a great uh, format to use. The other thing uh, that I want to mention, of course, is that with Adobe Captivate 9, when you're doing responsive designs, you of course now have more than just three. If you go back and look at uh, Captivate 9 you can see that there are only three breakpoints for uh, in this case desktop, tablet, and phone but with Captivate 9 you've got ta uh, you've got desktop, you've got tablet landscape, tablet portrait, mobile landscape, and mobile portrait so there's definitely some options for you there. The other thing I wanted to talk about was uh, specifically text and hyperlinks and how they flow across different breakpoints. Uh, a lot more responsive to any sorts of changes with hierarchy. So for example as you can see here I've, I've uh, gone in and formatted some text here and I've also included a hyperlink again in the past with Adobe Captivate 9 uh, you could set all that up but as soon as you went to a different breakpoint all of that formatting was lost. Now with uh, Captivate 9 um, you can maintain that formatting across all of your breakpoints including the hyperlink there at the bottom. So a really great improvement for Captivate. You've got lots of options for the different uh, different breakpoints. One additional thing, if you go into the Edit drop-down menu and down to Preferences, and uh, from there you're going to go into your Project Settings. Just wait for this for a moment to catch up with me there. We'll go into the Project Settings, and specifically we're looking at Publish Settings. There is actually the option to disallow phone landscape orientation and you can even include a message to your learners so that they understand what's happening when they try to use the landscape mode in phones because sometimes you know it doesn't always display properly anyway so this is a great way to get people to use the appropriate orientation for the appropriate size. Guys, that's uh, it for this video. If, uh, if you uh, are enjoying the videos that I'm producing for you, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. And also, uh, if you thought this video was interesting and useful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up.